YouTube, what is up? We're back again with another video. This time it's a Fortnite tier list of all mobility items. This is focusing strictly on mobility items that have been in existence since the beginning of Zero Build. I am totally washed in the Fortnite building department. So I stick to the Zero Build. I'm having a ton of fun with friends. And honestly, it's kind of been the breath of fresh air that me and my group of friends have really needed for gaming. Something that's just like fun, party up with your friends and just go play some Fortnite. It's crazy. Who would have thought in 2023, I mean, I guess in 2022, removed building and completely like revitalized their game. Anyways, obviously in zero build, you can't build. So you need to be able to move. So in this video, we discuss what we think are the best mobility items to keep you alive and get you that crown at the end of the game. Now, I'm checking the live stats right now. We're sitting at 93 subs. If you're not subbed to the channel, if you could just sub, we're so close to 100. It's totally free, it helps us a ton. I would just really appreciate it. Feel free to like and comment on the video that helps push us into the algorithm. And I just appreciate any and all of you that stop by and give our content a watch. It's so cool. Also, you're gonna be introduced to my dear friend, Brett, AKA Deadlights, who's gonna be kind of having a little bit of a discussion about what we think about each item. Enjoy. I think it's obvious, off the rip, some S tier items, Spidey, Nimbus, kind of like just out of their mind strong, partially because they're tied to a special event. Nimbus shooting you up and then basically being its own glider. Um, Spidey hitting the nostalgia of childhood superhero and also just insane mobility very quickly. Kind of like Fortnite's version of a Pathfinder. I think they're S tier off rip. No question for those I two. I agree. The Nimbus, I think, too, was like unlimited use, wasn't it? It was unlimited. It, it had a cooldown. Yep. And then so it would okay. come back. Which. I think the same with Spidey, too. I could be wrong about that, but. I don't remember exactly with Spidey either, but regardless, I think they were very, very strong. Yeah. I mean, I'd, I'd definitely just throw Hammer in there, too. That's. Oh, yeah. 100%. I think everyone is pretty much on board that the hammer is low-key busted. Low-key busted, 100%. no doubt. Yeah, and you have two hammers for one for gold, one for purple. Yeah, we'll throw okay. we'll throw that gold bitch in there too. That's <laughs> fucking definite. I, th it's not like the hammer wasn't a problem, and then Epic was just like, you know, they got four charges. Let's put a gold one on the map with a fifth charge. Great fucking idea. Yeah, those uh, those all are just too powerful. I think for the game. I think S tier is almost just like you're hitting a point where it's too much. I agree. I agree. Well, and especially, just, yeah. especially, and we can even cut to some footage right now with what happened with the hammer recently. Like, it seemed like almost, I don't know what's going on with this current season. Like, all, there's like, there's hammers. And like, I guess we can address the only other mobility item this season are the blue um, shockwaves. They're not shockwaves, but blue burst nades. And it's like a C or D tier for me, man. Because, I mean, you're taking fall damage. Yeah, that's the problem. I'd almost put them at a D. I think they're almost more of a use for a weapon to throw at somebody and try to knock them off a cliff than they are for moving. I think I would agree. I think that's I would agree. That's why I never really, never really pick them up and use them because it just kind of seems like... It's very much like a get get someone away from me or knock them into the zone. Yeah, and just with this new season, it's very hillish. Mm -hmm. So it's like, it doesn't, it, for, I don't know if they nerfed these, but you can't get very high with them. Okay, high with them. it's funny you say that. When this season started, I kind of thought, I was like, I don't feel like I'm going as far with these. I feel like they yeah. got a little less oomph to them. I agree. They don't, they don't feel the same at all. Yeah, I'd definitely put those at D. I like that. That's a good spot. They're and then, not something I... If I see them, it's like early game just to have a spot. Yeah, if I, like, early game, so if I have time. an empty slot, I'm picking them up because it's better than nothing. Yeah. Yeah, or if I'm like way behind you guys and they're just sitting on the ground, I'll throw them on just to catch up. Just a, that's about it. Yeah, cover ground quick because it's yeah. disposable. It's not that important, I agree. We're going to no. start just ripping off here in line two. The jetpack, man. The jetpack was cool. I mean, you could like sneak under rooftops and like cut angles if you were taking fire, like uh, if you were like on a, you know, level playing field on the ground and then you're like, okay, well, I gotta get out of here because I'm lit. 
Um, but it also felt like I could just get ripped out of the air with these. Yeah, because I had a limited boost on it, right? It had a limited boost. Yep. And then you had to wait for it to recharge over time. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, yep. I didn't... It's not really an item I use much of either. I, I almost think it's D. Yeah. I was, yeah, I was going to say C, D. So, but I, I'd i probably put it there. Yep. It was really... At least that one could get you up on, you know, height if you needed to. But otherwise, it's just... It's straight up. Yeah. It, it was hard to move with. Well, and you're going through an animation of using the jetpack and being, as far as I remember, being unable to shoot and then animation out and then being able to shoot again. So it's like you're really committing to flying with the jetpack. Yeah. It's like, you know, you're not doing anything else. I mean, that's probably the case for most um, mobility items. It's like you're not actually able to shoot with them. But I think there's something about the jetpack and like kind of the clunkiness of it being in the air that was also extra punishing because you just got could get beamed. I agree fully. Jump pads, it sucks because I know this season they're only available in care uh I mean care package. Care package, yep. I guess, yeah. yeah. I think they're S. I would agree. I was gonna say I would never go any lower than A with those because the ability to just be able to get out. I remember last chapter just being a like literally playing duos or trios like someone on the team was always like i got two jump pads and we always made sure of that also just storm damage and stuff too yeah just to get you across the map super fast yep it's amazing do we move them to a just because currently there's ju they're just really not even accessible it, it, i could i could get down with that yeah just because like you we don't even get a chance to use them that often if they were spawning as often as they were like last chapter then yeah definitely yes but it's like mm -hmm. basically I like to go for a drop, open it, get the jump pad, and immediately throw it, and then just loot, and then pad away. And I'm like, okay, cool. Like, that was kind of nice to just get out of there, or like relocate, or if someone was kind of watching the drop and they start shooting you, just, you can get out of there. But yeah, I think yeah, they're just not as frequent enough or common enough. I agree, and since it takes up a spot, and you can only hold one of them now, it's just almost more, only having five spots in this game is definitely difficult you gotta be smart with what you take so yeah like it's gotta, you, it like, oh, it's, it's gotta earn its place it's gotta earn its place 100 percent. shockwave bow this one's tough because it's not something that i have used a lot of i've used it once or twice but it's pretty much like the shockwave nades but it's a little bit more accurate to, more range yeah, probably you, yeah you gotta take time to like pull it back and then use it underneath you but it also, I feel like people use it more against their enemies to try to knock them. This one doesn't hurt you, though. But, like, I think people use this one more for highlight reels to, like, try to kick you out of the Well, circle at the end. and I think there... Which they're... we do have a clip of, sadly. I was just going to say, I was just going to say, we, <laughs> we lost play. a game to this. And I think it's worthy <laughs> of sliding it in, right, in right here. Um, Yeah, this feels more... And the other thing that I think is important, and I think you mentioned this and taught me this earlier is this is not found on the ground this is an augment right yeah yeah which is really and interesting we, and that's why we added in a few augments um was because of these bows yeah because it's still a mobility item like augment that like transitions into a mobility item but it's i this is a hot take but it's a little frustrating and, and maybe i'm just new and i don't understand augments yet and all that stuff but basically this is literally a complete coin flip you can't even just try to go loot and find one it's like do you do you get the luck of the draw or not and that's what kind of sucks about these augments is like sometimes it's just like wow you get like a bunch of strong stuff like just falling into your lap or you get garbage so i'm yeah. not saying it's Kinda... b i think it's b or c i don't think it's like i'm willing to go c on that one also. yeah because um, I haven't tried it. I haven't had hands-on experience yet, but I'm like, I'm assuming you could just like bow your feet and like launch. I'm assuming correct. it, I, the one thing is like, is it the same strength as a shockwave nade? Like, are you, and then- I prefer shockwave nade, personally. The question I have too with this is, just because, and you know, we're limited in experience with it is, with the arrows, how many arrows do you get? If you pick up more that's arrows, can you load yeah. it? Oh, that's fucking yes. insane. Yeah. That's-, that's crazy. That's how all of them work, is off of the arrow system in the game, which is nuts. That might have to make it a B. That's true. Because you're just, I, you, I th you don't run out. I think out. if we used, maybe it's something that we need to use more in the future, too, and try testing it out. I would love to, but the game hasn't given it to me yet. Fucking That's figure true. it out, Epic. Yeah, I mean, it's tough, too, because when you get that bow, 
I can't remember the exact name of the augment, but you get three bows. So you get that one and then the grapple bow, which we have on here. And then yep. we also, you also get the dynamite bow. I think if it's in the arrow system, I think it gets pushed to B. I'm down with it because I, I I know this isn't the next one, but if you just want to talk about the grapple bow. Well, no, I think it'd be great. C. Well, and yeah. if, if you get lucky, you can partner this augment with the whatever arrow um, specialist that'll passively regenerate bows too. So I think, yeah, there's a there's a lot. Grapple now, this is where, again, having that experience, because it's an augment again, kind of frustrating. It's for sure B, because I'm assuming it's just like, a, almost like a, you know, like a, the grapple that we had on our hand from last chapter. Yeah, it's a little bit slower though. Okay. You pull it back. Um, and You're it that's a good point. You're drawing, damage. you're drawing. Yeah. So that one, personally, I'd probably put under the shockwave at C, just because I think the shockwave is more valuable. Okay. Um, I feel that. I see it, that. It is. It is tough too because you haven't really gotten a chance to use these. So. That's what really is unfortunate. And, I only and for used like them about two times. I would actually be interested too. The uh, like the majority of the player base. How many people have actually gotten their hands on them? If you're watching this, could you comment down below? Yep, I've used the shockwave bow. I've used the grapple bow because. Neither of us, I mean, and we're playing, I don't know, at least three, four hours a night, I feel like. And it's like, we still haven't gotten our hands on either of these in the augment rotation. Maybe I've missed it, but I feel like maybe these, I, it would be interesting to know the statistics as, as to how many people have had access to these so far. You almost should have put almost an I don't know category. <laughs> we all, those, we really, not, like, super we really right? almost should have. We really almost should have. <laughs> I think I'm cool with it at C, middle, middle yeah. of the ground. Yeah. Um, portable bunkers, it's not a ton of mobility, it's some cover. You can maybe use it to like, you know, separate you from another person, like break line of sight. The one thing is, I mean, these things can take a fucking beating. Like yeah. you, they take if a they, lot of they, bullets. If they actually go down on the ground. This is true. And insert <laughs> clip of us getting railed by Brett get, trying to get us prime positioning end circle and trees just wrecking it. Oh my God, it was sickening. Made oh, yeah. no Freaking sense. Me, scr me screaming. Oh yeah. Time. Oh like, yeah. It just happened. You know? Yep. That was. Oh. Definitely have to show that clip. That was. <laughs> that was. That was, oh. dude. I we won that game. My pers up. Wait till the, you see my POV. I see oh, you throw God. it, and it literally <laughs> just breaks. And it was. It was like a, like a house of cards, just like oh, flopping all over. I think Is this that? goes. I'm leaning towards C. I'm down with that. It, the thing that's amazing about it. It's just how much damage it can take. And then also, I've also used it like when I'm crossing a river in a town or something, I'll throw it in the water and then I can jump on that and jump to the other shore. Mm -hmm. So it's just kind of a, I don't know. It's not something I usually grab, but it, I think it's a good end game item because- with Of how strong map, it is. Yep. Yeah, with how strong it is. And the new map doesn't have a, it depends where the circle ends, but sometimes there's not much cover. Very spaced out. Very, I agree. So yeah, to have that at end game, I would probably move it up for end game, but throughout the game, I don't really use them. Port of Fort, not currently in the game. I think it's higher, like it's more valuable I, than just because you're getting more height. Not yeah, a whole lot to say with that one. It's just more height and more, you're getting more of a building and it's in zero build. So like, it's just like an insta build which is strong as hell. Sure, I think I'm gonna stick with B. I'm gonna stick with B. Yeah. No, I like B, I like B, I think it's good. Rift is S, no yeah, doubt. Those are insane. Rift is S, um, Ninja raves, uh, rages so hard about getting, pushing a team, having them one shot, and then them just insta riffing. Yep, Riff yeah. is, oh, yeah. it, it's That's quite scary. literally a get out of jail free card, and they gotta hit their shots when you're gliding, so. Yep. Um, Shadow Nade. This was cool. I liked it. Cause I mean, you could really haul ass and cover some ground. It was kind of like a, almost like a Wraith queue from Apex in a way, um, mm -hmm. just to kind of be invincible and, uh, you know, and I'm leaning toward, I think it's, I think it's like B or C. I'm leaning towards B. The only thing that sucked about it is when you were in that form, you couldn't attack either. So it was this is true. Like, I don't know. I didn't use it much. I didn't either. It was not a priority pickup. Cause I'm pretty sure this was this was live with our during the same time as our next one, which is Shockwave Nades. And now this might be a hot take. Okay, well let's talk about this. I think Shockwave Nades. I want to put them in A because of how insane the Shockwave Hammer is. But these are really good. But this is what I think is so interesting, and I I don't know. My knowledge is limited on Fortnite, but what I think is so fascinating about the Hammer is it has a cooldown. And 
the charges recharge. Whereas like the nades, you could carry six and you really had to think about using them. Whereas like with the hammer, you you can hammer twice and like keep your two charges to like get out. And I think they increased it. I think it was 20 seconds. And now I think it's, is it 30 or? Still not long enough. Still not long <laughs> enough. Still not long enough, honestly. Honestly though, seriously. Yeah, I think shockwave nades but you can use these at a distance to like throw and knock someone out, but they're not taking fall damage. So you're only trying to knock them into storm. Yeah, for shockwaves, I love, those are honestly probably one of my favorite things. I would have also said A tier because I love to, if I get behind, I could catch up. And then I also loved if you guys pushed on someone that I could just like shock on one roof to the other and just shoot someone as I'm coming down. Oh, hell yeah. They're up. I think they, personally, in my opinion, I think they were probably in maybe the most well-balanced item in the game. Yeah, th because that's, I agree, it's man. It's strong, but it's like, it, it helps so much in certain situations, so. Yeah, no, I agree. I agree. I really so, yeah, do. I agree with you on that one as well. I mean, I mean I've mean, i agreed with all, almost everything you've done here. I, actually, I actually disagree with all of them. I think it's... Well, it's day 11 time. of 2023, and I... Haven't made a mistake yet, really. Let's go, I'm baby. just dialed in. <laughs> so, uh, fuck you, Bella. This year will be different. Baby. <laughs> <laughs> this year will be different. Goddamn right. Um, slap juice, uh, hot take, and I'm just. I think it's B, and this is why. It's mobility and it's shield, and you can carry at least six of them, and they're giving you 15 shield per pop. So six times 15, that's 90. You're almost getting full shield and you can haul ass. And insert clip, you can fucking chug these bitches while you're on the bike. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's the big thing about that is you can actually drink it while you're at any type of mobility. Yeah. Which that- I Healing and moving, splashes, yeah. Right? Yeah, I think those and splashes are the only two shield heals that you can utilize while moving. And then the and health heal is the spray. What was that? I do believe that the slaps also heal your health as well. 15. Do they prioritize that health first and then shield? I think so. I, I believe so, yep. So it, it's like a splash. It, it's nice. The, the, the beauty of it is, yeah, it's just those and splashes, I think, are probably the two strongest heals. These don't heal super fast, but you get the ability to run for like ever. Aerialist yeah. augment. Um, I almost always pick this up. Uh, do you? Yeah. I like it. Wow. I like being able to jump off. It, it, maybe it's weird, but like I like partnering it with the hammer, hammering and then popping my glider mid through and then ha like hooking real hard um, for misdirection. See, I, haven't used, I haven't used this one much because it's not one that I, I've seen so many kids get effed up by it. Mm -hmm. They'll like jump off of a little rock and then it'll go into that formation. I don't know if it's them screwing it up or a bug or what, but. Well, Lord knows there's plenty it. of fucking bugs this season, which is tragic. I mean, I guess. I guess it's very uh, Call of Duty Warzone where you jump off a high area and you get true, a true, parachute. yeah. So, yeah, I mean, you know, I mean, Tim the Tap Man's picking this shit up to avoid the fall damage. That's a fact. Yeah, I'm gonna let you place this one because this is one that I don't use often. I've used I'm it once, I gonna. Think, and I never even used it in the game. I'm gonna so, go with B. Okay. I get down with that. Yep, dude. I think balloons are F. I'm gonna agree. I think and they're dog they shit. They could come in really handy in certain situations, like if you need to jump up on height or jump a large gap, but it's all, like honestly to get them to come, like the only way you can get them to really fall off your back is by jumping and then hitting the control button, I guess on PC. Yeah. Um, and get it, but it's very like tedious work and then they just come right back and you're like, crap, I just got rid of these. So. I think they should come with <laughs> yeah. a with a spray painted decal that said, that just says kill me. I think that's, oh. yep, I think they're in ass. The game, right? in, the game. in the game, in the game, of course, in the game. <laughs> God, in the game, God, yes, holy shit. Yo, Chrome j chrome Splash, I think, I liked this. Um, I thought, nut I juice. also, Nut Juice, I think it was balanced <laughs> as fuck too, dude. You get shot in it, it takes you out of it. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go with B. I like B. Uh, these, uh, these uh, bounce pads, th these, this just sucks because we're probably never gonna see it again because the Chrome theme's gone. One thing I'll say about the Chrome too, um, is the the ability to escape was huge. It was very hard to shoot people that were in it, and then you also could go through walls with that, correct? Yes. Or did you not? Okay. Yep. So like, it gave you quite a bit of abilities. It was, but it, 
it was really good to either, like, if you wanted to push someone, you could push them quick. When it was nice that you and could throw it, like, if you're, clo shoot. if you're close to your team, you know, like, if, if we're really tight, I can just be like, yo, I'm gonna, like, chrome us yeah, right now, too. and then we're yeah. fucking going as a unit. Yeah. And then we you can, can jump out for mobility, and your gun's out, and you're ready to fight. I think that might be the only item on here that you could help your team out. Well, I guess other than Rift to go, you could. Yep. But everything else is more, and then, of course, jump pad, but most of these are, like, a selfish play. Yeah. Like, it's to help yourself. Yep. But, like, that one, I forget that you could use that on your whole team if you're just standing together. Yeah, you and you could carry a ton of them. So, like, I could, like, chrome myself, and then my teammates could be around me, and we get big opening damage, and I just, like, yo, I'm throwing a chrome on you. And then, boom, we're off to the races. Yeah. Crazy. All right, these jumping pads, I think, I think they're almost F. I would agree. It's very hard to control the direction of where you're going. Looking at our D format, I would definitely put those at the... Like, they're just kind of... I don't know. Another thing I just never... What are you really using them for? It's the same... For it's the, the same... Yep, the same as the beginning that we talked about with uh, um, the little blue shockwave nades. I'm like, yeah. if I got an open slot and it's, you know, early fights, this is what I'm picking up real quick and trying to stay alive or trying to make plays for my team in whatever situation we might be in. Uh, suction cup glider, I think this, I think this might even be A tier. I was gonna say A. Yeah. Yep, the that fact that you can, enjoy. it's so like versatile to your suction cup you don't weigh and if you suction cup to like a high point like off a cliff then you're into your glider, you're cruising away. Um, it's, it's really unique, cool, innovative item. The only thing that I would run into with an issue with it is like... You only got like 10 charges like, though, I think. Yeah. Well, the, like another thing is too is like there's a lot of trees and sometimes I've had that go... Th had it go through the branches. Yeah. Which was just... And when you're trying to run, it's... You don't get you're, that You need that back, shit to so. fucking hook. Exactly. So, that's huge. Uh, grapple glove. I think this goes to A. If maybe... I think S, honestly. I mean, it, it's... What does this have that Spider-Man doesn't? Yeah, I think it's pretty much it's pretty much the same. Yep. So I would agree with that because you could just get away so quickly or catch up so quickly. Mm-hmm. Uh, this Hound one. Uh, I'm leaning towards F or D. I, 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 I remember yeah. you could howl and it would like reveal the location of people and that was kind of cool and you're jumping and dashing. You kind of feel like Wolverine a little bit. But ugh. you lose your weapon, though. You you, right? you have claws out, yeah. and the other thing is it takes up. Um, it's constantly taking up a slot. Um, whereas, like I don't know, this is pretty niche. But you know, if you use your last shockwave, that slot's open. Um, but this is just kind of for for taking up a slot. I mean, this is the you know core question for all of these. I don't think it delivers on the value for taking up a slot with what it all has to offer. Just jumping in and i mean like yeah it's cool i remember um page shout out to page um brownie burnett stallion got a ending kill with this and it was sick but it was just like this as an item is just kind of ass yeah it's it's kind of like you try it out once you get a kill and you're like yeah i don't ever want to use it again but that was kind of cool yeah you know? it's yep. a cool idea i think it was a good idea um but it just didn't really deliver i will say this and maybe we just need to wait for updates for this current <laughs> season but this was this was like at least attempts at being innovative i think shockwave hammer is the most innovative thing that they added this season slash chapter yeah. um i'm really hoping that as the map changes and stuff that we can get more shit added um and just because i think the current two mobility items are some of these augments and then the blue nades and the shockwave hammer so it's just i respect epic for like the innovation of like trying to do something creative and different and i really hope that that gets kind of that same energy gets pushed into this current chapter yeah uh, i'll oh, go ahead uh, compared to other uh, just compared to other games we play i mean like sure there's things that aren't balanced in this game like personally i don't like the hammer mm -hmm. but i have to say that like it's a great idea i just think it's a little bit too strong but yeah they could easily balance it but I don't know, just everything in this game, when it comes to this stuff, is very, um, it's new and exciting. Whereas I don't get that in many other games. Like, this game just is very innovative, which is really sick. I agree. And that, that's what's so, uh, it's crazy to think that we're, I think it's so fucking wild that taking away building is like what revived Fortnite. And 
I mean, Apex, we just saw a tweet yesterday. They were like, please God, don't do another 75 day split. That game got really stale. Um, Tarkov's in a weird spot with kind of stability, cheaters, and it was just, it's just been kind of, I don't know, there's been this nostalgic warmth of just loading up Fortnite and playing with your dudes and having fun and sweating, but also like it's Fortnite, so it's like it's not too serious. Um, I will say though, and I know you've said this before too, Brett, it'd be sick to get a zero build like ranked mode. And I think it launched with a fucking ranked mode and it just, those end circles were fucking sick and fun. And I mean, I'm sure I'm, I'm going to go on a limb. I think more people are playing zero build than they're playing build mode. So, yeah. But anyways, um, this augment, I mean. I know you don't like it, but I like this one. Okay. What? So. But like, you put it where you would put it, and then I will tell you my. I'm mind. leaning towards C. Okay. See, I wouldn't, I, I probably wouldn't go any higher than B with this one. Like, B would maybe be where I put it. But when I look at what's in B. This is like the one where it's like, it almost sounds like the hammer when I jump behind you and I get to jump really high. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yes. You yep. That one? Okay. So yeah, this one I personally pick a lot and I like it because I can get height really easily with it. And you, I don't know, once you use it a lot, you get, you kind of get in a situation of like when you know when to use it and stuff, mm -hmm. because I think it only happens when you're like running, but it takes all your speed boost to do it, I believe. So you're gotcha. sacrificing that. Gotcha. Yeah, I don't have a ton of experience with it. I rarely pick it up. Yeah. I mean, usually, like, I'll get, like, like the tactical pick. I always, I run pistol over SMG. I think the headshot multiplier is higher. So I always, like, if this one's with it, I'm going pistol. Um, I can, so do you want to, do you think it's worthy of a bump to B, eh? Uh, let's look at it at C. C? I think, see, when I'm looking at the things in B, I like that at C. Yeah, it's, I'm looking at B, and I'm like... Yeah. Everything in B, I would take over it. Yeah, I agree. Uh, this uh, mobility, I think it's called the the dud or something. <laughs> the, dub, I the, I, the dub. Um, I think it's F tier. I don't know why I'm going to use a shotgun for mobility when if I'm going to use a shotgun, I want to shoot the player that is trying to hurt me. Um, it's taking up a slot. It's using my shotgun ammo. And I think it's just, gar I think it's fun to pick up and like kind of meme with, but that's it. Yeah, and the only time that I've ever even seen this gun viable is usually when it's in build mode, not mm -hmm. no build mode, because I've watched them like, I mean, if you have enough shotgun ammo, you can literally get pretty much off the map by shooting this thing into the ground. I it's suppose you're, the reload is quick and you're just yeah. moving. That might be worthy um, of a bump. Yeah, it's actually crazy if you watch. Uh, so like, I mean, I watched one guy literally go off the map completely with this gun because he had, you know, 200 shotgun rounds. He's like, how high can I go? He just kept going. Wow. And then he came all the way back down and was able to stop by shooting this into the ground one more time because it slowed him down. That's it's insane. Pretty crazy. That's insane. This is not something it's it's i don't know a lot of things in this game are like fun to make clips with and it's fun and innovative but like they're not really a realistic weapon because mm -hmm. when you shoot an enemy with that you both shoot backwards and it's like eh, i don't really want to be shooting backwards when i'm trying to aim my gun at someone so yep i, I personally am not a huge fan of it either so i think i think the look. one insane like the reload and like the fast like if you got a lot of shotgun ammo i think that bumps it to a d I agree, because I would probably use that over even the Wolverine suit, because the Wolverine suit to me is just kind of, it was cool, but it was like, eh. Yeah, the one I really so, liked, yeah. I remember like almost, I, get it, I got it early one game, and I mean the jump dash I used a lot. I, I feel like this is a pretty solid, I think we agree on most things. Yeah. Like we're not, we don't really argue about stuff. Because we're usually on the same page mm -hmm. with most things. I feel that. I feel that hard. 100%. So, yeah. Um, 100%. I would love to know if any of you have stuck around to check out this whole video. We really appreciate it. If you disagree, let us know. What's going on with items? Past, present, future. What's your favorite? Do you think the hammer is overpowered? Etc. Give us your take down low. Uh, drop a comment, a like. Hit that sub button. It's free and it really helps us out. So, yeah. This is the accumulative tier list of all items since Zero Build was introduced. Let us know what you think. Thank you so much.